everyone, Wendy here at the Denver Museum of Miniatures, Dolls, and Toys, and today I'm in the gallery, so I have my mask, but we've been pretty slow. So I'm going to take the opportunity to teach you a quick, easy craft. Now this is actually one um, a friend from high school asked me about last year, Christmas Eve emergency, we're going to make some dollhouse rugs. Now these aren't going to be the most fancy rugs, but... I think it'll give you a good jumping off point and I bet yours will be even better. So the very first thing we're going to do and is we're going to make one just out of ribbon. So this is some fancy ribbon. You can see it's woven, um, so the sides are different. And if you cut off a strip, figure out how big you want it, you can just fray the edges. See how that unravels? And then you get that nice little um, effect that you have on a real rug. And you can just trim it. Will this last forever? Probably not. You can glue it if you're really worried. Oops, sometimes it takes a minute to find those edges. Um, and if you didn't cut straight, you know, you can always come back in and trim it. Um, but this is, you'll find this kind of um, ribbon and craft stores. And uh, sometimes even this time of year uh, for gift wrapping, uh, this makes a great little entryway rug. Uh, this one is pretty shiny. Uh, maybe I would use it on the blue side, but if you're looking for a tiny rug, um, bathroom rug, this can be a really easy place to start. So check out your ribbons if you're getting any presents right now. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just use um, some yarn and some felt. Um, these are just some scraps. Well, this is a scrap and then I decided we'd go 70s and have this kind of fun color combo. Um, the first thing you can do is you could just take a piece of felt and you could do little tiny cuts um, all the way down making some fringe. Um, so that's pretty easy. You know, you could do that with another piece of fabric as well. Um, what I thought we would do is I would make kind of more like a braided rug style. Um, so a lot of times braided rugs are made from scraps of fabric that are braided together and then all those braids are sewn together. And yes, there are dollhouse rugs that are made exactly that way, but we're gonna do a cheat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I think I want an oval rug, which means I'm gonna need to take this and cut it into an oval. And uh, now that I'm going, I'm thinking I probably should have, you know, used a cup or something to get the nice rounded edges and have it perfectly symmetrical. But I think this is pretty good. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is know what kind of crafter you are. So you can either leave the yarn on the ball but since I'm in the gallery, um, I'm actually just going to pull off um, a bunch of it and cut it just so I don't just so I don't drop the ball and have it go everywhere. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to need some trusty glue. If you've watched me before, you know I'm I'm a tacky glue kind of person, um, so we're going to use tacky glue. Okay. So this is a little confusing because I don't have really table space to do it on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with about where the center is, a little bit of glue. And um, if you have something, um, you can you could spread it out with your finger. You, if you wanted a more thin layer, you could, um, I don't know, lots of different options. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of guess where our middle is, and we're going to start... There's two, actually two schools of thought on this. One is you start from the middle and you work out. And if you're starting from the middle, then you're going to want to make sure that it's in an oval to start with. Don't start in a circle or you'll end up with some weird gaps. So start it as an oval. See how I've just stuck that on there? Um, and you'll, of course, need to add more glue. This would be much easier if I wasn't trying to do it vertically. So I'm going to see if I can make that happen. Okay, so here we go. Um, 
you can cover this whole thing with glue. You can do dots. Everyone has their own way. Remember, the glue will make it more stiff. You could also definitely just do this on a piece of paper. So if you're like, oh, I don't have felt, grab a piece of paper. Um, so remember, tacky glue does dry clear. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, oops, mine's going to be a little goopy. But it'll be okay. I'm just going to spiral this around until I've filled this whole surface area. So I'm going to add glue as I go and um, let's get working. Okay, so I finished my rug. Did I not follow my own directions and keep this center part an oval? That is what happened. But no worries, I just cut some strips and filled in the side. And now we have a nice little rug. Um, so the white will dry clear. Um, it got a little out of hand since I was making it in the gallery and we had some guests, but I think it's going to be pretty good, especially for a kid's stall house. Um, and then we have our little fringy edges on our ribbon rugs. So two easy rugs, have some fun. Don't stress about it too much. You'll get better the more you make. Have a great day.